I'd like to weigh in on the Governor Northam issue. It isn't cool to uh, make light of uh, historical tragedies such as slavery and prejudice against other ethnic groups. And um, I don't think that the blackface and KKK image in Northam's yearbook uh, is funny. But as a person with a strong affinity for free speech and understanding, as a person who um, accepts any kind of comedy, because I consider comedy the expression of an idea which passed through one's mind, not as a statement of advocated policy. As a person who is quite philosophical and believes in interpreting people's messages instead of determining them for oneself, as a person who thinks that you have to ask people what they mean and not assume that the broken wheelbarrow of language, as William Carlos Williams called words, is sufficient. I think it's ridiculous to ask this man to resign for something that he did when he was 18 or younger. We don't know why he actually did that. We probably all have said and done things which could be misinterpreted by others. As you've heard me say before, I was fired from Greenpeace for things that others thought I meant, for things I hadn't said, and for complete misrepresentations of who I am. Had those people come to me and said, what did you mean by this? They would have had a moral quagmire on their hands had they continued with their attempt to get me fired. They were wrong. And while people today are feeling real pain and anger over Governor Northam, they still have to admit the fact that they're angry about something that was done when he was more or less a child. Now, I understand that some of his policies today are not appreciated in a positive light, but that's fodder for political discourse, not something to be lobbed onto something he did indiscreetly as a child or as a young man, as a way of getting him out of office. That's unfair. And in addition, I would say, the better thing to do would be to censure him, punish him, penalize him, and keep him in office so as to see how such penalization might come to fruition in a positive light or result. When you dismiss people, when you destroy people, when you wreck their reputation or you help them wreck their own reputation for the rest of their lives, you just put more negative energy into the world and probably a lot of negative kinetic energy as well. In other words, it's not abstract. He will become hardened by this unless he's a saint. He will probably do more damage in the political spectrum if he's kicked out for a mistake or an indiscretion that was executed when he was a child or shortly thereafter. It makes far more sense to help people grow than to destroy them over a mistake or a misdeed. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to that opinion. Thank you, and have a good day.